Hey, what's up YouTube, Pallav here and we have the cool pad, cool one. In this particular video, we're gonna go a little deep into the camera UI and performance of this device. In the camera department, it's a pretty interesting device, specifically because it's one of the rarest device, one of the first devices under 14 or 15K Indian rupees, which has a dual camera setup. You have dual camera setups, uh, before this one but they were much more expensive this is the first one that i think broke the 15k barrier it's available for less than 14k now when we talk about the cameras we need to know that um, it has two 13 mp um, sensors here and 8 mp sensor on the front first let's talk about the 13 mp sensor you can see both the sensors are vertically aligned accompanied by a dual led flash a dual led flash makes your white balance that much more accurate the 13 mp camera has uh, f by 2.0 max aperture which is very good now out of these two sensors both are 13 mp sensors one is an rgb sensor that means a colored sensor another is a black and white sensor now what is an rgb sensor is rgb is nothing rgb is red green blue uh, that means the colors. So it's nothing but a color filter over an, other, an otherwise black and white sensor. So one has the color filter, another one does not. The one does not have the color filter, the black and white. It's obviously because of the lack of that filter is slightly sharper than an RGB sensor. And in combination, Coolpad promises that this whole camera module could produce pictures slightly sharper than cameras which has a single RGB sensor. Now talking about the front 8 MP camera, it has a max aperture of f by 2.2 which is very decent for a front camera but you do not have a flash there. I would have liked a flash really. Now let's take a look at the UI. Okay, we'll start with the back camera first. So you see there are these many shooting modes. You have a photo, just go drag it up to go to video and then you also have a night mode here you have a beauty mode and then a pro or more customized version shutter is pretty fast here you have the flash option and then something called as aperture which will take advantage of the dual lens setup we'll come back to that in a bit you have hdr and then that's to toggle between front and back camera which is quite quick can see then also you have some stickers and other watermark option basically then you go and you can have a slow video long exposures panorama gif that kind of thing so in photo you see the max aperture is 13 mp and in 16 by 9 you have 10 mp and interestingly there are only two options so the sound some of the other uh, system options over there yeah that's the photo one. In video, in the video mode, and there you see the max is 4K. So this guy shoots 4K, but note that only at 30 FPS. And then similar options out there. In the beauty mode, you can set the beauty level one, two, three, but note that the more, uh, the higher number would actually remove most of the texture from the uh, faces, most of the detail from the faces. And then you have the pro version where you can go ahead and let's say you can uh, alter the focus. You can have auto or manual. You can have exposure timing. By default, they're in auto. You also have exposure timing, yeah. Then ISOs and white balance and that kind of stuff. And then this one is what they call DSLR mode. So you can see you can at the software level change the aperture. And what it does is that uh, once you set it, let's say at 2.8 or 2.0, then one of these sensors act as a depth sensor. And it actually uh, measures the distance between the subject and the background. And because it knows the distance, it can, it can actually, um, you know, make the background naturally out of focus. 
not uh, not like your DSLRs, not as natural as DSLR, but much better than the one that does it purely at the software level. We'll see some results a little later uh, to know how it goes. Let's switch to the front camera and the 8 MP front camera, which is you can see it's pretty fast, does not lag at all. It's quite bright as well. It shows quite a good amount of detail. You also have some of the other options, but the, because of the lack of flash, you do not have the flash sign here. Photo and still video. So the front camera max video resolution is 1080p. And in photo, you know it's 8 MP. And here you also have some of the filters over there. So that's as much as the UI. Now let's talk about some of the performance. The main thing is the image and video performance, which is great. And particularly the dual lens setup works really well. At this price point, you'd be really hard pressed to find a dual lens setup in another phone. This phone, you might think that they, you know, they might have adjusted in the quality because they had to give that dual lens um, setup or dual lens ecosystem in this price, but no. The dual lens that at least that uh, the lens could make the background out of focus very nicely and the difference is actually noticeable you can see in this set of pictures where uh, without the bokeh when we shot then the background is clearly uh, not as out of focus as probably uh, a dslr would uh, make it but when you use the dual lens setup and use that particular slr mode then you can see how cool the bokeh look like and it's almost roundish so although at a software level obviously it cannot go to the hardware level of the dslr how much ever we talk about uh, that thing but it kind of emulates that effect really well overall good quality details under enough light and the beauty mode in particular works really well uh, including the one on the front camera uh, on the front camera, we took selfies under really low light and that also came out pretty well. Overall, one of the best cameras at this price point, definitely.